another banger. So today is a brand new day. Today is a great day for a great day. And it is two, 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 two. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I hope you make it a great day. It's like when I do these early morning videos, I still have puffy face. I'll be sleeping good. Good. <laughs> well, yesterday wasn't very interesting after the incident with the chair. Um, the teacher that was in here, she was like, she was scooting up on the chair, like trying to scoot in underneath the desk, and the chair broke. Obviously, it had to be loose for it to just break into pieces like that. But it really, again, it wasn't about the chair, it was about the reaction. To the chair breaking so the little girl came in yesterday morning i was still trying to have my attitude because i know who it was i was still trying to have my attitude but what i don't understand this particular person was asked to go to another teacher's room but i guess anybody could have sat in a chair and it would have happened i'm just glad nobody was hurt you know bigger pitch i'm glad no one was hurt and so she's like hi miss basil i made you some cookies you know do you um are you allergic to peanuts or anything i'm like no so I was like, where you get them? Where you get them from? <laughs> What'd you do to them? <laughs> you got cats? <laughs> I was like, thank you. So then she left. So every almost every almost every class got a lecture about respect and you know how much I've put into the class, my heart, my soul, my spirit, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, to take all this stuff home, I would have to rent a U-Haul because 95% of the stuff in the classroom is mine furniture wise. And it's like moving moving from one home to another. Then I have to pack up my garage. It's a lot of work and then bring it back. So I, I had to get my mind right. And I don't feel like it. I don't have the energy. So my spirit was a little, I wasn't mean or anything. So another teacher was like, I didn't hear you at all. I was like, I didn't yell. I just talked to the kids. And you know, I was trying to calm down, but I could tell my spirit was a little deflated yesterday when it was time for um, the other girl's class. She was like, after the speech, she was like, well, I thought by giving you the cookies, you wouldn't be as mad, but I guess that didn't work. It didn't work with the other teacher either. <laughs> it was kind of funny. So I guess she did something to upset the other teacher too. It was, it was, it was kind of funny, but you know, I tried to help it and I was like, yo, well, and so, I am trying to take down my board outside. I don't know if I showed you the board outside where the kids created vision boards. I was encouraged or I was encouraged by Bobby because Bobby created a vision board and I just, a digital vision board and I just loved it. So I was like, oh, I want to do that with my kids. You know, when they came back from break, we just took the vision board down. I believe I have a clip. I'll try to insert a clip. So it's almost down. we're late for black history month and in my school district we get we don't get the odd days off they chunk out days into weeks at a time so we get three full weeks off throughout the school year that average school districts don't get which i love and it was one of the selling points for me driving you know 45 to an hour and a half every day because it's about an hour and some change to get home and if i leave at six in the morning, I could beat the traffic and I could probably get here in about 35, 40 minutes with no traffic and the lights are good. So it's not too bad if I'm leaving, So which means I'm getting here almost an hour and 45 minutes early, which is fine because it's I get in my head zone. So with that said, so now we had a week off in February and then there was bad weather. So yes, I'm just now getting to the Black History Month board outside. But as my shirt says, it should be Black History Month 24-7, 365 days a year, seven 
days a week. So I guess it really doesn't matter. The board is up, the board is up. The kids are about to learn about 90 to 100 African Americans. They're gonna do research. I don't want it to be, a, you know, a, a, an extensive project. I just want to write three sentences. But the key is they have to write compound complex sentences. And so um, I said, they should know, but it's still been a struggle. Um, it's like you teach something and it's not retained. That's that's the weird part. Nothing nothing is soaked in and, and retained. And we've been working on these writing skills since the beginning of the year. That I don't quite understand. But regardless, I did the outline for the Black History Month uh, poster that we're gonna put outside. I'm gonna have the kids color it today, have them do their research on their people um, that they're given. So half the classes were given, um, it's called Tessellations. I didn't know what that was, I learned. It's a repeating pattern, like a hexagon or a triangle. So you can put the triangle together, you know, you flip the triangle and there are no spaces, no gaps, no anything. And you can do the same thing with a hexagon or like tile on a floor, that's called tessellation. So let me show you the Black History Month thing I made, I outlined, and I'm gonna have the kids color it in. And then I left a student here yesterday. She did a very good job because I was getting tired of outlining. I stayed a little late at work. And it's a little girl. She always <laughs> comes to my class because her mom comes late. And she'll do a homework or we'll um, study something. And so I'm probably going to do patterns inside. So, you know, it's not just one solid color. And then I'll cut it out. Cut out each word. And put it on a board in the hallway. I will show you how it looks when it's done. So I'm just gonna do a quick pattern so each part of the pattern can be a different color. So, it is what it is. I think I'm done with that. She did a great job. Um, I was just tired of outlining. I did the sketch, but I won't let anyone touch it until I do the black outline and then they can have at it. So, and then once they color it, I'll laminate it so I can keep using it. A uh, teacher was like, oh, so February is almost over and you're just now getting started. It's better late than never. And then we had the week off. It was just, it was just, and then we have expectations that we have to meet with deadlines, with exams, and so on and so forth. So it just, it just got by me, but better late than never. So I'm pretty excited and I'll show you the shapes and stuff and what the kids are doing. And I'm pretty excited about that. So other than that, I have duty today. Let me show you, I wanna show you my little skirt I got from the hair store. So this skirt is from Jackie Newton. Jackie Newton <laughs> sent me a little gift when I was in a hair store cause I had to do Sydney's braids. I'd be glad when she started paying to get her braids done. I, I, baby, I could barely manage my own braids. So now I just redo my braids in little sections. And then when I need to color my edges or something like that, I put it between the braids and I just shampoo. But just to take everything out, it's just overwhelming. So I'll probably um, do the edges. So I did like the top part. Now I need to do some in the back because my hair is growing. Then I got me some beads. I put a few beads on here. So I got this skirt. So I was like, oh my gosh, you know, my money is kind of funny. And so I was like, oh, Jackie Newton, she sent me a little gift. And she said, do something for me or buy something just for me. And I was like, that's just what I did. And I'm pretty impressed at the, at the um, hair store, honey, at the Ling Ling shop where I was getting some hair and some bees. I saw the little African-American section. I was like, those skirts are cute. Great material, everything. Bay Daddy got me this shirt. This is my second time wearing it, so I don't know if you guys saw it already. So I was like, oh, it matches the skirt, so that's what I'm going to be putting back on. My mom always said if it doesn't smell and doesn't look dirty, it's not wrinkled, you can put it on again. And that's what I do. I don't put my clothes in the dirty clothes every time I wash it. Underwear is a whole different story. But like pants, jeans, or something like that, I don't. Maybe y'all do. I don't. If they don't look dirty, they don't got no stains, they don't smell. If they not standing up by themselves, I could wear them again. So this is my little outfit and I put this on with it. I ordered these. I find all my stuff on Amazon typically because I don't like shopping. This t-shirt, Amazon. Um, and I just threw this around it because I felt, I, because I wanted to, because I can. <laughs> so I could put it on this way or I guess I could put it on the other way. 
so I just put them on facing this way and the skirt I think is pretty it has a nice little shine and it's actually not too long because most of my long skirts kind of it hits the floor a little so I really can't hop my Crocs in this I just threw my little Crocs on honey but I really really like it and they have other colors in there so I do plan to get some more skirts baby this thing was $39.99 and I think the material is thick and I didn't have to put a, um, a petticoat underneath because you know I like my stuff to stick out honey I like it to poke out and it just it, I think it does a good job on its own she's so cute with a little t-shirt or I can even see you know if you have something and you have a little top like that and you know this cover up the little belly or whatever so <laughs> I think there are lots of opportunities for this skirt especially I love a long skirt I always do opposites you know I put on a few pounds so <laughs> I gotta get I, you know I gotta get it together I gotta get it together but I usually like to wear my skirt slow and then I'll have on like a little crop top but I always wear a gown skirt and a little crop top I don't wear little and little mm -mm. or I wear baggy top and maybe some short shorts so I'll always mix and match but never the same so that's what I do and I just think she's adorbs I can't wait to get the other color they, they really have some cute skirts $39.99 thank you Jackie Newton I love you and thank you for loving me all of you for loving me and you know even when I I'm upset y'all know I'll jump on this guy I was like maybe I shouldn't cuz I'm mad but I was I was just hurt but I feel a little better today I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to be doing today I just I think it was my first time this year I just didn't have it together I was just like work on your little tessellations hexagon person and color that in after I gave my little speech and they did their reading and stuff like that I said today you know they do 10 minutes of reading I said for your reading log we're just gonna do a verbal so I picked on a few people their specific things they had to say it was just crazy because one of the girls said she talked all the time but when I was like what is your tag for your book that's your title your author and genre so you say it in a complete sentence and she was like can I just tell you no I'm calling on you what is the tag I don't I don't like to be put on so I don't like to but she talked all the time let me give you an example of a tag I love 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 blue series books right okay then the name of this is summer of secrets Summer of Secrets is a non-fiction story written by Paul Langan. That's it. A complete sentence. She couldn't say that. I was like, not shy. Not shy at all. It's about, that. that's one of my small classes. I was like, this is ridiculous. Then I called somebody else. <laughs> I was like, this is a classroom of your peers. You talk all the time. But now all of a sudden you shy because you can't say a sentence, a title, author, and a genre. I was just blown away. I was just like, I, 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 I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I could see it was a little shy girl. I had one shy girl last year, and baby, she came out of that shell. I was like, come on, get on the stage. Do the thing, do the thing. And she hopped up on that stage, and she said what she had to say. I had to call her mother and let her know. I say nothing wrong with your daughter. She hopped up on it, and she started crying. She's like, really? I thought she had social anxiety about the put on medicine. I was like, no, baby. She, she did the thing on the stage, baby. She is okay. I guess it also depends on the teacher. And now that we had fun last year, too. So, with that said, I can tell I'm just being a motor mouth. I'm going to put out the cones for my duty. I have crossing um, duty, crosswalk duty, and I enjoy it. Um, this is my second year having it. I requested it again this year. And I'll probably request it again next year because I love waving to the parents. They like to see my outfit. I love smiling at them. They just wave. So I enjoy seeing um, all the parents and stuff like that. And sometimes um, they'll roll down. Oh, I like that skirt. Ooh, ain't it sad <laughs> and, and it just makes me happy. I think it makes them happy. 
So with that said, I'm going to put the cones out. I'll put them out early so when the bell rings, I'm just walking to duty. I'm not trying to put cones out and navigate between kids and this and that. So I'll put them out an hour early. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. At least I'm on a job. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to do that real quick. Try to get my mind right. What we're doing today. I'm a I'm not I'm really I'm really not there yet. I'm not there. I'm not all there yet. So with that said, I love you. Bye y'all.